Shalom, it's David Benkoff, the Broadway Maven, with a quick look at how synagogue music has influenced Broadway. First, two major Broadway shows start with the sound of the shofar blast. Listen. The most famous example comes out of the 1935 opera Porgy and Bess by the Gershwins. Flamboyant drug pusher and gambler Sport in Life expresses his doubt that Bible stories are true. Here he scoffs at the story of Jonah. The Gershwin family was militantly secular, with few observances beyond Passover. By the time the boys grew up, only Ira had become bar mitzvah. So he knew enough about the reading of the Torah to denounce it, however obliquely. How? He took the music for It Ain't Necessarily So right out of the prayer when called it to the Torah. Baruch et Adonai Hamvorach. It ain't necessarily so. More Broadway show connections in 20 seconds, but first, if you like learning about Broadway, try the Broadway Maven's Musical Theater Appreciation Class, which meets every Monday and Thursday at noon and 8 p.m. Sample classes include Fiddler on the Roof, Mel Brooks Musicals, and if you could see Cabaret through my eyes. See the upcoming schedule at thebroadwaymaven.com. Another example I learned from Debbie Friedman. She described Carol King's loneliness when she wrote, You've Got a Friend. King realized the song wasn't just about friendship, but about God, too. So she cried out, Shema Yisrael. You just call out my name. Hence the tune, which later became part of the Broadway hit Beautiful. And it was the song King sang with the cast when she surprised them one night. Finally, for some fun, the excellent 1980s musical Falsettos has a scene in which a bar mitzvah boy's stepfather awkwardly says, everyone hates his parents, which quickly turns into the Haggadah. To support the class, visit my Patreon page. See the upcoming schedule at thebroadwaymaven.com.